I'm sorry if you're turned off by my unesthetically pleasing background, but this is the channel. This is the channel I'm creating, and I'm not here to make myself, this is what I, where I was going, to present myself in a different way than what I am. They're glowing on the way into my bedroom. What? I'm not even going in the bathroom anymore because my... <gasps> what is that? Like, are you not obsessed? Look, you can't see anything but them. They're like floating hearts. Floating. I am I'm loving it. I am loving it. I, I can't I can't get enough of these. And I, I don't know. I don't know if it's just me. Do people like psych out over glow in the dark stuff? Because I do. I mean, guys, we've got let me I'm, I'm like, guys, and like walking with it. Look at these colors with this. With this. This bag with this fanny pack. I mean, colors everywhere. And let me tell you, I'm pretty sure they're yes, yes, and freaking yes. What is this? What is this? Matchy match. We're going for stuff that, that works together, that goes together. Like, dangle it on a bag. I'm selling those too. Oh, like, I, I just, I'm obsessing. I'm obsess And I'm sorry for anyone that can't get that excited over it. Look at this. You know that you know that this hat can't fit, but just can we just this with this bag with one of these keychains? Ooh, ooh, I feel like I'm in the 90s, like Will Smith much. Fresh Prince of Bel Air. More like fresh queen of glow in the dark merch. That's what we do. Well, what an eventful weekend. It started Friday night, I believe. Yes, Friday night. First of all, happy Monday morning. And I am currently driving home from the school drop-off. And let me tell you, like, I just, there's just, I feel so overwhelmed. But at the same time, I have zero energy to be in panic mode. So I'm just taking it like one project at a time. Yesterday all day okay I'm exaggerating I did a lot of admin work yesterday um, so I would say most of the afternoon into the very late evening like midnight once again can't get to sleep before midnight um, I was working on keychains I was getting keychains uh, backing cards cut printed and cut out like more so I have a total of over like a hundred. I think I said that last night. So the video cut out in the car when I was trying to um, explain that whatever backing cards, backing cards. I'm always talking about backing cards. I feel like I'm always doing them. Um, Keychain backing cards. <clears throat> I have over a hundred now, I think. So the keychains that I have, actually, I guess, did I film that last night? Let me just, let me just go film it. <clears throat> Because I want to know where I'm starting off this morning. But today, tomorrow, and Wednesday are going to be like long, long hours. So the way that I set up my... And I'm going to flip the camera on in a second. <clears throat> the way that I set up my office for this morning was kind of like in a strategic like, okay, you come in and it's literally in your face. This is here. That's there. Get it. Get it done. So I do need to... um try to edit at some point today, try to just not edit, combine the clips from some of the first vlogs. And the thing is, I'm super cringing over it. And I know I said I was going to cringe, but like, what was I saying? Like, I can't even, I can't even describe it. Ah, anyway, I, I, I've got to cut some of it out. There's no way there's going to be way too much footage. So I think for the first um, few days I was doing it, I might like show snippets and clippets of it, but clippets, <laughs> snippets and clips, short clips of what I was doing. Um, I'm going to use that clippets, snippets and clippets because a clip it is like a small clip, right? It's like a clip of a clip. Anyway, that's enough. Let me show you this. We have this. So these are all the backing cards that I did not look how far I got through. Ooh, if you saw the stack from last night, because um, they're here, right? <clears throat> so 
look at those oh my god they look amazing so i have black i have the glow in the dark yellow i have the gray coral i don't know berry or magenta or fuchsia i don't know gold this color which is like an ocean oh that's like yeah i don't want it to dent the tassel uh we're gonna go with teal turquoise i don't know purple blue and then we have um just those business ones in the back i'm probably gonna make just a few um that have designs on them already just to kind of promote businesses and then all of these which are the letters to go on the keychains right those are there so that's that let me show you so my strategic so i'm going to start here and i'm going to cut some navy some glow in the dark no, i'm sorry this is glow in the dark some lilac glow in the dark pink and more glow in the dark yellow so i don't know why i thought that, why am i keep thinking this is pink i thought i ordered a soft oh you know what i haven't received everything yet yes i have what okay rewind the clip this is not glow in the dark this is navy lilac soft pink and glow in the dark the other one my glow in the dark pink is here so why is this yeah see glow in the dark vinyl diy yeah we're gonna put that here too so we have two glow in the dark permanent vinyls baby soft pink permanent vinyl lilac permanent vinyl navy permanent vinyl and i think this with this coral gonna be a hot combination look at this look at it look at it those are my colors for harris business so we got a lot of stuff going on and i look forward to recording it because that's what we do now because we're a professional vloggers yeah, and like, can I post one video? Just post one video, Sabrina, and then you can say you're a vlogger. Like, even these colors are really great together. But, I put this tassel, this gold tassel on wrong, so I have to fix it. <clears throat> but those together, can you say, like, graduation much? I feel like those were my, were they my colors? Something like that. But those are good together. So even if someone wanted, like, a... Um, a keychain that had a navy paint stroke. We're learning our words. A navy paint stroke with a gold tassel. That would be great. So I think that when I put this listing up. Now these are for custom order. This is for online only. Like we are not going to be like. Oh can I. Like we're not going to have time for that. How they're packaged up is how we're selling them. And if I happen to have. Like see how I have them in bowls. We're not going to have it displayed in bowls at the seafood fest, but like if someone wants, if someone's like, oh yeah, I'm not really crazy about any of these colors. I can say, well, we have other colors to choose from. I have other vinyls cut out. So if I have some extra navy cut out and they want a coral um, tassel or I, they want a gold tassel, whatever, I will make, it. I will. But for right now, what I want to do for the listing is actually offer them offer them is to allow them to choose their tassel color with their backing color so in etsy you can do um i think it's up to is it like up to two um god i don't even know the words when was the last time i was created the listing <laughs> variation <clears throat> so you have like variations or whatever uh, no they're not two variations in each thing that you um what am I saying? So you can choose like color, choose size. In this case, they're going to choose ba um, backstroke color. Backstroke. I said it again. Keychain brush stroke. They can choose their brush stroke color and tassel. So maybe that I'll put in like the notes area. Like they can personalize it there because I also have different shapes. So do you want the round one? Look at this. These are what came in yesterday. Those are the ones I was telling you about before that I can put names on. But I might do some of them for the purpose of the fest that say Marathon or Florida Keys or something. I think that would just be cute to have a few of those. These are the round ones. The hexagon ones. Those are square, which they have the hole at the top. So they actually kind of look like a diamond the way that they hang. 
Uh, this is a kind of like a different rectangle. See how that's, this is a rectangle and the heart. So I think the hearts are going to be popular, but there's not that many. So those are some of the options that I can have in the shop and they can choose, you know, they're, they're, like I said, they're keystroke. Brush stroke. You see, I'm trying to correct myself because I was like, I'm not going to say backstroke. Instead, I said it wrong again. Okay. They'll be able to choose like this, like, oh, I want this for my backing. And then I want this cool tealy whatever for my tassel, whatever. Like, you know what I mean? They are not going to be able to choose gold or me or metal. I don't think oh, gold or metal, gold or silver because gold is really hard to find like look at the look at how much silver that i have <coughs> excuse me versus gold i don't know what i i should have ordered more gold and when i realized yesterday i was like what are we rationing look this is how much silver and the gold that's all we have for gold and i have all these keychains to make so yeah i don't know no we're not making all these these are just stuff that we ordered extra but I'm really proud of what I did yesterday. I am so proud. How many did I count? So we have like two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 22, 24, 25, 30, 34, 40, 46, Two, four, six. 46, so 52. Ooh, that's it. What? I feel like I had more. Anyway, <laughs> these were the ones that I originally cut together the other day. The, the paint strokes that I cut the other day. I was just finishing putting them on. Um, I like they, they were the ones that were already, the vinyl was already on the acrylic. The other ones, these were the additional colors. Are they additional? Mm, they're just extra. So the, yes, I made extra of these. Like of these three, um, four, with the purple. Of these. So I have those, but today is not to work with those. Today is to work with the other colors that I showed you. The navy, the lilac, and the pink one. And the glow in the darks and stuff. But I do want to offer some hearts. Not too many. Um, I only have a total of 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. I only have 10. So if I want 50 more... Um, if I want 50 more keychains key for the event, I have 10 of those. I have 10 squares. Actually, this might work. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Yes. So maybe that's what I can do. I can offer... Um, these colors just a variety of the colors of all of them the navy lilac the t all let me just so i can do like all of these colors all the ones that i have already plus all of these over the assortment of this i think that would be amazing like because then I, they would see that i offer all these and depending on what's hot and what's not then we buy more for the etsy um for the orders coming in through etsy so i think i'm tired of circles they're getting on my nerves hexagons are getting on my nerves too so I like them but I just I need I need some variety so we would have 10 20 30 if we go with the squares the rectangles and the hearts that will take care of 30 then I have I don't know how many of these this looks like it could be 20 the longer ones but I don't know how those will sit in the backing card and guess what ladies and gentlemen I am not making new backing cards for the purpose of this rectangular keychain. I'm not, because the cello bag is the same size as the keychain, so this is how it would look. This thing is gonna like hang down, and if it has to be sideways or crooked like in there, it is what it is, right? I mean, I think they're gonna be really great for, um, for names and for regular design. So maybe I'll just do 10 of those 10 of each of the other ones because that's all I have and then like five circles and five hexagons and that's that's it I don't have any other designs so I think I've made up my mind thank you brain 
10, 20, 30, 40, 45, 50. Done. I'm going to do that and I'm going to pack up the rest and then we're in business. Um, so I need to like the, again, I must have freaking backstroke. The brush strokes, the long ones, I need to cut those. I need to go back into the file that I downloaded before, the zip file that had all the other ones, grab the heart um, template one, cut those. Um, and then for like the square and the other, like I, I can make it work. I have like, I have them already. This is going to be fun. Today's going to be fun, but we have to get that done cut and over with. Why? Cause I'm tired of keychains. I'm tired of it. I don't, I just want to get it done today. I cannot be messing with it tomorrow. So today keychains, cups, hats, then I need to cut vinyl for, um, because the hats, there's like a limited amount, right? So we've got, what is it? 12 of each. We've got like 36 hats to do. And because they're small, um, they're hats. So it's only going to be like a small, a uh, small design. I can cut all, oh God, my, my, my landscaper is going to be like looking at me talking. Um, because there is, <sighs> this is super awkward. I don't think he's looking at me. He's like doing stuff. Oh, he's picking stuff up. Um, no, I lost my train of thought. Um, yeah, I don't know where I was at. Something about keychains. Oh, finishing stuff. For the hats. Um, so with the hats, because the design is really, it's just across. Why? Yes, this is a hat. Just this part. It's small and it's not going to be a lot of vinyl. See, he's knocking and he's going to, he's going to lecture me about having the palm fronds on the floor. We've got to move the van for... Oh, it's not a van. It's an SUV. Oh, I call it a van. For him. Sorry about that. Ah, I think in one of the other videos I said that our landscaper got his mailbox hit by... I don't know what it was, but he just explained the story to me. It's sad, like... How fast are you going? I mean, not even fast. But like, how much of a hurry are you in that you just plow through someone's mailbox like a maniac? So, we're going to give him his money so that I don't forget. And he doesn't have to track me down. He deserves it. He works hard. <clears throat> Always getting a good old lecture from the landscaper because I'm a horrible person. Just kidding. Because I'm like, here's your 20. I'm like <laughs> walking towards like things that are flinging. I don't even know if you can hear it in the background. Our palm tree drops these like, they're like nuts. I don't even know what they are. Red nuts. They're, they just drop from the palm tree seeds, I guess. And when he comes and does the landscape, we used to mow our own lawn. And I remember it would like chop the lawn, the lawnmower would chop it up. Yeah. But he has a riding one. I wish. Okay. Back to reality. But this, this is the kind of stuff that I'm talking about. Monday morning, so many goals in place, right? <clears throat> As of last night, get up. And I'm not even, I'm not even ready. Well, you know, get ready with me. This is it. No, it's not. I, I got half ready and yeah. So I haven't had coffee. I haven't had breakfast. I'm not even hungry, honestly. So because I'm documenting this journey for myself and to see how was I feeling on this day? What did I accomplish? Like, it's kind of like, should I do like the smart diaries? SM art, Sabrina Marie art diaries. Diaries is like kind of teeny bop. Like I think maybe, um, sorry, I keep spinning the chair. That's annoying. Um, the smart chronicles, like I said last time, but the smart diaries isn't that bad, but I'm, I'm in my thirties. Like it sounds just a little too, um, babysitter's club. I don't, I don't know. Anyway, um, I'm going to think of that because I need to come up with a series of when I just sit here and explain my, I guess when I'm vlogging, 
would be more like it. Like more studio vlog type of stuff would be more of like the diaries because I'm not, yes, I'm sharing some of my life, but like I'm not, my channel is not intended to go to Disney World with me. Like maybe, but not right now. And it, it probably wouldn't be this channel because it's about art, right? So I don't want people, I've been subscribed to people who do that and that's fine. That's their channel, but I don't necessarily care to watch them go to Disney or other places. So it just depends. And Sabrina, if you can't just get some chapstick on your life every time, every time, and then I'm licking my lips the entire video, but these bags these bags under my eyes are the real deal guys real deal this is real life raw real and uncut but we're gonna work with it because we have no choice um so i had a good talk with my mom last night and i think that if we lived closer together i could really get her to take part in what i'm doing i, I mean at least help and maybe give ideas like she's so creative and I, I wish we didn't live so far away from each other. But we're working on it. We're working on it for this year or next year. Um, so anyway, the whole point is that I've got things to do today. I'm half ready. I want to get a little more ready than this. This was just like a cover-up to go to the school line. Um, so I'm going to actually put on some clothes so I can be like a human of the day and just... Be able to say, oh, I need to go to the store and I already have clothes on. I can't go to the store in this. So, anyway. I guess we're going to get with the program now. I'm going to um, make this bed. Make my kids' bed. Go wash up the dishes. Just tidy up. Again, I always tidy up. Just so I feel like I've accomplished something. And then we will get to it. See you soon. Thought I'd bring you along to do some coffee of the day. Treat yourself. Treat yourself. If anybody's seen that. Everybody should have seen that by now. So, yes, we have managed to wash the dishes, all the dishes from yesterday, and make the beds. So we got that done. I needed some caffeine, so that's what I'm doing. But I'm starting to feel a little accomplished now. Put clothes away. Oh, check, check, check. That's like four checks already. We're making this coffee. Yes, you're going to hear me stirring in the background because anybody got time. Like, hey, whoever's editing, can you go ahead and, like, edit this? Edit that out? No. I feel a little clean with me. This is the best clean with me you're going to get today. At least out of me. So, just wiping up our mess. I haven't even made breakfast. <sighs> what is life? Is breakfast mandatory? Do you hear that long? Oh, I'm going to share my OOTD outfit of the day. Hey, guys. Get realistic. It's going to be the same thing you saw the other day. It's going to be the old CEO. See that? By the way, let me give you a little uh, hamster update. She is a happy camper because why? Because we cleaned her cage yesterday in preparation for her to be babysat by Auntie. Hi, Dorothy. Good morning. Good morning. Hi. Are you spinning? This camera won't focus. Let me open it. What are you doing? Hey, girl. What you doing, girl? You love your fresh cage, huh? She's like, yeah, lady. No, I'm going to sit in this bowl until you give me some fresh food. So, yeah, these things get nasty, get wilted. So, hey, isn't she the cutest thing ever? She is a Chinese dwarf hamster. Oh, you're going to be the star of the channel. Be my logo, please. Be my logo. She is so cute. I can't, I just, she's so fuzzy and she loves her grandma. We call her, she's my... She's my granddaughter because she's my son's daughter, apparently, I guess. Dorothy, yes, you're the cutest little thing ever. I love hamsters. I just, I don't know what it is. Always. I mean, I grew up with them. I grew up with hamsters. I was raised by hamsters. I grew up 
having hamsters in as a, pets. So, um, yeah, I just, sorry, you just got a glimpse of my wrinkly forehead, but yeah, I, I'm obsessed. I'm a little obsessed with hamsters and I didn't really, I didn't even have one since, um, well, when my son was old enough to have one, that's when I got another one. But the last one I had was like college, I think. And then I had a kid and then I was like, hamster, who has time for that? We had the birds, those eight birds. So, um, yeah, we're going to feed Dorothy. We're going to get with the program and it's going to be great. I don't like to leave wilted stuff because I, I feel like that fruit ferments and then she's going to get like drunk off of her fruit. No thanks. Like that movie, The Good Dinosaur, where the little cave boy and the dinosaur eat these berries that were rotting on the, on the ground and then they were hallucinating. Yeah, we don't want Dorothy to hallucinate. Can I just record how much she loves fresh fruits and veggies she's vegan here all right you gotta move out of the way so i can set your dish down it's a very small cage meaning like where i put her dishes and stuff because but it's like a condominium like no it's a condominium mansion but look in her habitat She is fanning over the apples. She balances her day. She doesn't like to eat and not work out. So she'll like take two bites and then she's like, I've got to exercise. Alright, I'm gonna stop bothering you so you can eat. I know you don't want to be filmed unless you're just wanting to show off. You're doing a great job. I just wanted to show that. Because I know how much she loves it. Alright, we'll be back soon. Get ready with me, guys! You're not getting ready with me because we're not getting ready. We're just like wrinkled shirt. I'm ready! We're not getting ready. This is ready. T shirt, jeans bun just like this we're ready a little deodorant and then we're basically ready because we're not going anywhere right we're not, we're not doing anything i mean i'm not saying that it just drives me crazy because i'm a realist and when i see people i'm gonna take this water because i haven't been drinking it when i see people in their videos now it's one thing it it is so mine is casual I spin around and you see my entire background and it's like unprofessional probably unprofessional looking you have some most people that are doing say oh learn how to do such and such um create printables with me or learn how to set up an Etsy shop with me I don't know if like obviously they're gonna be behind a computer right because they have to teach you. So they're gonna have, you're gonna see their computer, they're probably gonna be sitting at a desk, and they're gonna have some kind of decent background. So we're working on it. I mean, what I have is an improvement, and it's not horrible, it's, it's great. So I'm sorry if you're turned off by my unesthetically pleasing background, but this is the channel. This is the channel I'm creating, and I'm not here to make myself this is what I where I was going to present myself in a different way than what I am and that what is real life that's why I wanted to call my channel Sabrina Marie art in real life or just Sabrina Marie in real life but Sabrina Marie and Sabrina Marie in real life it opens it up too much and I think that people are going to expect more than just Etsy shop vlog studio vlog like all that so I don't really want, I, I didn't, so I did that and then my son said, that's just too long. That, that name is too long. So Sabrina Marie Art it is. And it's consistent and when people search it, they're going to find it like that. So if I decide to do a set, well, I am going to do a second channel, but that's going to be for Harris Business. 
work smart and not hard because that is what we are. Sabrina Marie Art is smart. That's it. SM Art spells smart. So we might do that. Smart chron Chronicles? Smart Chronicles, aka Smart Diaries. I think the diaries sounds good. I think the Smart Diaries is going to be maybe the more, um, the Chronicles is going to be more of an adventure. Chronicle of Narnia, Chronicles of Narnia or whatever. That's more adventurous. And right now we're not doing really adventures. Um, this is an adventure, but I think that it just doesn't make sense right now. So the Chronicles, I have to really look up what that word exactly means to find out, okay, are Chronicles a series of major events like chronological chronicle maybe i'm thinking too much into this but i like the chronicles because it's just a unique word diaries is like ah, diary of anne frank like it's just too i'm not writing a diary the last time i wrote in a diary i was like 11 and i haven't written in a diary since people i know do um what is it journaling the Sabrina journals, like, it's just, I don't journal either. I probably should. But anyway, enough of that talking. We are finally at my desk, and we have a what? The coffee I made. Treat yourself. Break yourself. But treat yourself at the same time. So we're going to drink our coffee. No, I didn't do that aesthetically pleasing like walk with me walk walk the coffee with me i hate when people do that and why because it's like i can barely walk with my coffee without trying to point to camera at it figure out where i'm going and people are zooming in like, walk with my coffee here let's do it let's do an example okay huh? oh we're setting it down we're here i can't even i can barely like get in I just feel super uncoordinated doing it because I'm, I'm looking at the camera to make sure it's focusing on the coffee and I'm not focusing on where I'm walking. And with my luck, I'd walk into a wall. Our hallway is very narrow and I can just see it being an, a complete fail. And then that would wind up on like ridiculousness or something, which I wouldn't be mad to be on their channel. I could use a little, uh, what do you call it? Visibility, but not that kind of visibility. No, no, no. So anyway, we're recording the fails, we're recording the wins, but we're going to have more wins than fails. We're going to do this thing. I'm firing up the Cricut. We are going to sit here and cut these vinyls as we are peeling off. I am like not saying. We're going to peel off the 10, 20, 30, um, what did I say? 10, 20, 30, 35, 40, 50. I'm going to get 10 of these. We are going to do 50 more keychains, but I'm going to sit here and... Well, that's cutting. Peel the um, the protective layer. Can you see that? Both sides have a protective layer. So I'm going to sit here and peel those off while the Cricut is cutting the other vinyls. And we're in business. I will try to record as much as I can throughout the day, but I don't want to um, take away from my time. That's the, that's the biggest problem here is the time that I have left. And if I focus on recording so much, I'm not going to have time to... I, like. I'm going to be focused more on, oh, oh, let me stop what I'm doing. Let me prop up the camera and let me, I don't want to have to do all that. So yes, I'm going to record some of it. And if I figure out how, I'll put some nice aesthetic music. <laughs> I'll put some nice aesthetic music. I choked on the word aesthetic because that's, that's the thing. If you can't say aesthetic, you don't need to be aesthetic, period. So we're going to do this. Um, why is it saying connect? This is the problem I have every morning with that cricket. It's like it wants to recognize it. It doesn't want to recognize it. So sometimes you just have to... I, I put my computer to sleep. I don't shut it down. So it could be that. So I'm going to save what I did work on last night. Save that project. And then um, get moving. So I'll prop up the camera here in a bit when I'm a little more organized. See you soon. We are officially back in business. Um, it took me a while to kind of get this template how I wanted it. Uh, when I say template, I mean... Um, measuring all of this, fitting the different paint strokes on um, on the mat uh, within the six inches for the yellow, six inches for the pink. And I just finished working that in there. I'm putting the pressure to more, putting it in as permanent vinyl, 
I don't know. I'm assuming that this, it is, it is, it's not permanent, but there, is there a semi-permanent vinyl? Permanent vinyl to me is, um, is the one that you can use outdoors, but permanent is basically the one that you, the one that you, I don't want to say cannot peel off. You can peel off, but if you try to peel it off, it's crap. Um, they do have so weird why is this starting in the in the middle look it has a mind of its own we're gonna start in the middle today because we want to we want to and my camera currently said my phone currently says that i can record 43 minutes um it's starting to fill up again so which is kind of a good thing so that it's not gonna i'm not gonna be like sitting here talking nonsense for the next three hours um so what i can do is then i just wanted to show that that was going I figured it out so the most difficult part was basically just trying to fit all of the designs in there and I should have showed you maybe you can kind of see this can you see yeah you can that's that's the layout um so some hearts on the top the two different hearts heart designs um you can't really see the other thin can you see those thin lines on that one those are for the longer keychains that just the svg file didn't come in as shape as filled in it just came in as an out outside line but um, that's what we're working with. Six, six inches on the top, six inches on the bottom. Basically duplicate. And if that turns out, great. So what I'm gonna do with those, I'm gonna peel peel the vinyl off, stick them on one keychain each, and I hope the size is right, because I don't wanna waste any vinyl at this point. I also got notification from Amazon that my um, black, I believe it's black heat transfer vinyl is on its way, yes, because I got, so the, I got the two rolls, two, 25 foot rolls of heat transfer transfer vinyl one black one white i got the white one in yesterday and the black one is coming today i don't remember even what else i ordered but i know that there's other stuff coming um i'm pretty sure i'm pretty sure because i i did get all these other vinyls in and the keychains and the extra tassels and all that stuff so um i'm just really panicking about these transfer oh i was supposed to check the transfer express tracking number so track the track the package with me we're gonna do a track the package with me see where that's at that's so important like that is a major deal that and the banner so right now while that's cutting we're gonna focus on that because if you remember from the clip before about um me not being able to check that order number I know I ordered. I know it, it came out of my bank and I have the order number. I just can't log in. Like I don't have a login for it. So um, let's see. Transfer Express sent me. Yes, it would say you would receive them on Tuesday. Let's click on it and see. Tracking. Oh, I think I'm supposed to go in the actual transferexpress.com login and see. So that's to check the in this. So this um, pink glow in the dark one, I have to keep laying it down on the mat. I don't know if the mat needs to be cleaned. I do have other ones I can use. I don't have time to clean mats right now. Um, but it, it just keeps lifting. It's not sticking good. So I have to keep pressing it down because the last thing I would want to do is for it to not work when the Cricut tries to press on it. And it doesn't cut right. So we might have to change that mat out for that purpose today. All right, track it. So there's a track it. I guess they're coming separately. Why? On the way. So it says it's coming tomorrow by 7 p.m. Talk about cut it close. Um, this leaves no room for error. None. Let's track the black. Um, the one with black writing. That also same thing. But apparently it's two different packages. Totally fine with that. So, um... Yeah, guys, they're not cheap. And I'm going to be super real. I'm going to show you. Do you see the price? $108 each for the, um, oh, it doesn't show the quantity. For 25 sheets, $108. It's going to save me a lot of time, though. A lot of time. But I still have to cut them. I have to cut each individual logo out of there and press it on shirts. I, I don't know if that's going to be something that I I can do at the fest. I think I'm going to have to do it there. I'm going to have to. But I, I hope 
and I'm gonna test some because I need to still figure out which shirts that I want to display at that fast a lookbook like what designs do I offer oh my gosh like I don't know what I'm doing <sighs> I'm gonna have to bring my glitter vinyl my pink glitter vinyl and so I'm gonna have I have gold silver like I have other colors so if somebody's like I need that shirt today I'm gonna say okay no worries but we don't have black and white because I ran out because they were that popular oh if I become the next big thing, oh, I'm scared. Okay, wanna peel some vinyl with me? I feel like I'm so, what am I? Am I, um, what are those people that jump around from one thing to the next? Crazy people? I don't know. Let's do a satisfying peel with me. Glow in the dark. Glow in the dark, guys. Ooh, these are, see that glow in the dark vinyl? Give me some problems already. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. This is difficult. So we might not do a peel with me. I'm gonna peel this and I'm gonna come back because I don't wanna eat up all the, the time that I have left. We'll be back in a minute. All right, we are doing another quick, I'm like two minutes later. This was very hard to do and very unattractive to do on camera. So for anybody using that, um, this one here, Wrap Expert Glow in the Dark Vinyl. This is the Giraffe Vinyl. G-I-R-A-F Vinyl. That's what this is. And it looks like it's going to be a very satisfying peel. So, oh, these hearts in pink are to die for. If we can get this off in one sheet, I'm using this vinyl for everything. Oh. Oh, no. Let me see. Did it even cut something here? Yes, it did. Why is it trying to mess with my emotions? Still going in one sheet. Oh, I am the bomb.com. Don't go to that site because I don't know what it is. It is in one sheet. Hello, Dolly. This is great. This is, this is the point where you've lost your mind. Okay? But this... I, I'm, I'm, let's go to the bathroom. <laughs> let's go to the bathroom and check these out. Wait, did they get enough sun? I think so. Let's see. <laughs> Look at the glow in the dark vinyl with me.com. Oh, I already see it. Look. Look. Oh, everybody gets a keychain. Everybody gets a keychain. Let me turn. Let me take these out. These are the lights that I have. <gasps> Oh my God, I'm ready to panic. What? What are those? I'd have to put this clip with the one where the lady's screaming. Oh my God, I, I can't. I, I am psyching out. Uh, guys, look, look. Oh my God. Let's, let's do a glow in the dark with look and the, and the lights open i mean the, the bathroom's open look look at it look at it i am losing my mind I, they're gonna know me as the the crazy glow in the dark lady you know what i will own this <laughs> not the title i will own it own it our tent is gonna be on fire Brandon, what you got on? Glow in the dark, sweetheart. Don't worry about it. Go to booth 87. Go get your own. I don't know what I'm saying. And I don't know who Brandon is, but that's it's the guy in the commercial. And actually, it's like a YouTube video. But anyway, Google it. Just Google, what you got on, Brandon? It's funny. Um, I am going to... I'm going to put these on some keychains, and I'm going to be right back. Okay, my battery is dying. It's at 10%. I like I'm, I'm all over the place my phone's at 10% I have 37 minutes at saying left to record so three things I am going to have to show you this real quick number one number two charge my phone number three move all of this stuff onto a USB that takes a while so we are gonna show you the update because I I am happy this makes me very happy because I think these are going to be hot sellers. 
so hot that I'm going to run out the first day. More like the first hour. So we have two different, by the way, it's raining outside. The birds are having like a moment. I don't know what's going on. But if you hear them, they're very cute. So I hope it's not bothering you. Um, so I have these keychains that I just made. Four. I'm becoming an expert. I have four. Look how great they are. Oh, and if I leave these out in the sun, like blazing sun, they're going to be super bright. So these are the long ones that I wanted to put eventually in my shop. They're going to, um, you can put your name on them. So customize. And when you put permanent vinyl over these that doesn't glow in the dark, you're going to see everything. You're going to, it's going to stand out because you're going to see like the glow in the dark is going to be like the background and then you're going to see your name in it's going to be dark. So it's going to be whatever. You're not going to be able to see the color. Let's go to the bathroom. Before my camera dies. Oh my God. They're even glowing. Like they're glowing. This is halfway in my bedroom. They're glowing on the way into my bedroom. What? I'm not even going in the bathroom anymore. Cause my, <gasps> what is that? Like, are you not obsessed? Look, you can't see anything but them. They're like floating hearts floating. I am. I'm loving it. I am loving it. I, I can't, I can't get enough of these. And I, I don't know, I don't know if it's just me. Do people like psych out over glow in the dark stuff? Cause I do. I mean, guys, we've got, let me, I'm, I'm like guys and like walking with it. Look at these colors with this, with this, this bag, with this fanny pack. I mean, colors everywhere. And let me tell you, I'm pretty sure there. Yes. Yes. And freaking yes. What is this? What is this? Matchy match. We're going for stuff that that works together, that goes together. Like dangle it on a bag. I'm selling those too. Oh, like I, I just, I'm obsessing. I'm obsessed. And I'm sorry for anyone that can't get that excited over it. Look at this. You know that, you know that this hat can't fit, but just, can we just, this, with this bag, with one of these keychains. I feel like I'm in the 90s, like Will Smith much. Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. More like fresh queen of glow-in-the-dark merch. That's what we do. So, I'm getting to it. I've got lots of keychains to make. I'm panicking. I'm in a rush. I was supposed to place a Walmart order for other things. Ah, we have all this. Look, look at it. Look at it. We have all of that. We got these going on. We're making stuff. We're making stuff and we're making it happen. All right? So, I'm going to get to it. I need to charge my phone. I need to then move everything over to a USB and then put it on my computer. Then we're going to keep recording today. I'm going to show you all the stuff I'm making. Oh my God. Ah! So, okay. So for the hats, I want to use the glow, glow in the dark vinyl for the hats. Yes. Because I have a lot of it. I have two rolls, which are, oh my God. Ah, you need a, you need a hat with your matching keychain, with your matching um, drawstring bag. We are going to hook these people up. No, this isn't the one. What? this one this is how many how many feet can I get a proper box like something that actually tells how much is in there let me just look at the roll this is what I got fun caca fun caca exactly um this one it doesn't show what it is three meters maybe is that what that says let me let me open it Hold, let me just set these keychains down I'm, I'm just getting excited I'm getting excited over all this stuff so let me open it. Let, oh, I don't even know I'm opening it. I think I have another one that I opened already, but we're, we're looking. This is how much is in the roll. That's a good amount of vinyl, right? So we can do shirts. We can do hats. We got all those hats to do, and we're going to make it work. We're doing it. We're doing big things. So I'm going to put this camera to charge first. I'm going to continue making these, and we are getting it together. I've got to place this Walmart order. So many things happening. All right, I'm going to get to it. The queen of Great Britain is here. Psych only of the British Virgin Islands. Ah! Turn the camera. <laughs> Ooh, delivery, delivery, delivery. Good morning and happy Tuesday. What is going on? My fellow fans and followers. I'm here at the Walmart pick up bright and early like it's not even eight o'clock yet I am so exhausted so last night 
you know who came over and we got some more stuff done. Done. It was great. Still a lot to do. But she got a little behind the scenes with um, those keychains and um, what was it? The key, the keychains. Oh, and the um, the tumblers. Finally. So I don't even think I. Where did I leave off yesterday? In the. Uh, I told the camera yesterday. I'm. I'll be back and to show you the designs I've done. I don't even think I did that. I'm a horrible vlogger. It's fine. I don't have energy. I barely have energy to talk today. I'm just tired. Like, my sleep... The, the, the lack of sleep is catching up to me. Yeah, definitely. Yes, outfit of the day is this shirt again. Get used to it. This is my work-from-home outfits. I'm headed back home. I'm just rambling because I feel really tired. Why I wanted to pick this up is to pick the camera up is because I didn't even close out. I, I didn't record anything when we were preparing last night. Nothing. And I had all my stuff out on the couch. But, okay, so let me get to it. So all the stuff I had on the couch yesterday, like, um, I just took it out of boxes. I bought these stickers, and I can show you the stickers later, but I'm not taking out all the stuff because we have packed some stuff away. I can show, like, the, the boxes I think are open. I can probably show you. But, um, they're like, they're called garage stickers. Garage sale stickers from Dollar Tree. Um, but they don't have, um, like, there's nothing classy about them. They're just stickers with prices on them. $10, $5, $3, whatever. So I took that, I took those and just stuck those on the things that... Um, I'm not putting my QR code and, um, like my tag stuff on. I'm leaving the QR code and the thank you tags and washing instructions and all that stuff is going on my merch that I'm making. It's my merch, right? I'm making it, but not on the things that I've purchased wholesale and I'm reselling. That I'm not, um. I'm not tagging that as if I made it. So, that's what we're doing. Just wanted to kind of, my lips are so dry, so I apologize if you see me continuing to do that. Um, but yeah, we're almost home. And I have to get these groceries unloaded. It is 7.57, so we have an early start to the day. If I can manage to get him up, get him ready, get some coffee in my system, and not fall back asleep because when my husband is home and he's in the bed like obviously you just want to lay down right like somebody else is sleeping why can't I sleep ah it's so hard so I'm gonna see if I can wake well I don't even wake him up he's probably on his phone watching TikTok um probably try to just get him up and get him to do what he's gotta do because I feel like when he's up when everybody's up and nobody's laying in bed, I am forced to stay up. If that makes sense. I don't know. Don't you just want to sleep? God, that's why I was saying. I'm glad it's a sunny day because I can't I can't stay. If it was going to be a rainy day, I wouldn't get anything done. And we have a huge day today. So I'm going to follow back up when I get in the office. I'm going to go take these groceries in now. And we will see you soon. I am here making some breakfast. So... I was panicking about my OneDrive not updating. I was on, I have two laptops, and I looked at one for the videos that I uploaded, and I couldn't find them, and I was panicking. So, I realized that they are still loading. I guess they couldn't do it when my computer obviously was off. So we are in business. I'm glad I figured it out because I was like, I have been trying to record, like making it a point to record and it, and it didn't save, like panic mode. Anyway, we are about to fry some plantains and some eggs and have a good old American Jamaican breakfast.
Because why? Because you're Jamaican me crazy. All day, every day. Yeah, I don't know what I'm... I, okay, I gotta... I'm gonna fry this food up. My husband got a load. So, a quick load. To Georgia and back. Because we are not risking him missing the seafood fest. We need him. We need him. We need both of the husbands. And that's that. This is what we did yesterday. Look at it. Look at it. So we were able to stack up this. Look how great this jewelry stand is. I'm loving it. I've got my koozies on display. Our fanny packs are filled with stuffing to make them look great. This is just one of the masks that we had to use for our prop setup last night. We have some tags that we still need to put on my shirts. But yeah, we like all this we have to somehow fit. Oh, and another thing, I have great freebies that I got these at the Dollar Tree and I am giving them away to my best customers. So, yes, and these cups. I'm gonna share with you the design of the other ones that I did in just a little bit while I, um, I mean, after I cook. We still have that going on. We still have not counted shirts. That is on our list of things. We are gonna use those crates as a table. It's gonna be great. So we have a lot of things. Today, we're doing all the things because tomorrow we are packing. This is where we're at. So many supplies yesterday from Dollar Tree. All this Cricut stuff, isn't that great? Here's my cups. I'm gonna share with you the designs on those. She helped me do all of these yesterday. Thanks, friend. We have so much stuff. Keychains. We're going to work on some signage today. We're going to work on cutting the stuff for the hats and the shirts, the heat transfer vinyl, the glow in the dark stuff. And we're in freaking business. We are in business. Business. Say the about my business. Because it's mine, oh mine. Hello, just an update. Yes, outfit of the day. No, it's not an outfit of the day. Outfit of the day is underneath here. Yes, it's the same shirt I showed you earlier. I'm currently here waiting for my husband to check in to this place where he's picking up a load. And once he checks in, we're gonna drive him over. We, I'm gonna drive, I need to stop saying we. I'm gonna drive him over to the place and uh, to the, uh, his truck so that he can um, drive back over here. He, they just need, they require that you check in early. And there's trucks, look at this. Like they park along the side because they have them waiting to get in. Look at all the trucks over there, waiting to get in there. So that's the process and uh, yeah, there goes another truck driver. Ooh, I like this purple truck coming, but no, it's turning so I can't show you. So yeah, just a little update. That's what we're doing. We try to balance things. I gotta go back and tend to some work for my other job, as I say. I keep saying my other job. I'm gonna stop mentioning their name because I'm obsessed. But um, yeah, that's what we're doing. That's what I'm doing. That's what we are doing, you and I, whoever's watching. So um, then we're gonna get straight to, <laughs> who am I kidding? We're gonna go home, start a load of uh, laundry, and make the beds like we always do. I am leaving the dishes till later because I don't have time for that. I, I need I need to focus, but I, I can't think. When the beds aren't made, I can't think. I don't like walking to, into a room and seeing, seeing that. So dishes, those are gonna stay there. But as soon as I make the beds and tidy that up, straight to the office. I already showed you a little bit of the office this morning. It's not that bad. Um, I tried to really clean up after Des left. Um, yeah, just sweeping up the floor, just putting things like away, like all the vinyls, all the permanent vinyls that I was using. We're not cutting any more permanent vinyl unless I have time. So it is what it is. What we have is what we have. And that's it. I don't know what else to say. But we are going to cut some. I'm sorry, I keep looking because there's so much traffic on this tiny street. And they're plowing through. <laughs> um, yeah, so heat transfer vinyls I need to test the glow in the dark when I tested it the last time and I can show you this if I remember when I tested it the last time 
it's like I did on a hoodie and it kind of went through the I think I pressed it too long but it wasn't sticking so I pressed it again and when I pressed like it's like it was absorbing like the sweater was the hoodie was absorbing the material so it makes me a little nervous but I do want to have an option for some glitter like you know I'm obsessed with this glitter so I think for some of them where it says like support your local hooker or I think that would look really cute to have just the bobbers oh wait but that's I can do some support your local hooker but it can't have that fishing line I just it my cricket will not cut that thin so I might do some of those in a different design with some pink So we're going to, and I'm going to figure out how this is going to work. I need a sign that says like, order here. Um, or, no, pick your, pick your shirt, pick your design. Um, more like pick your design, pick your shirt. I would pick the design first. Pick the design, pick your shirt and pay here, pick up here. Like four different things. It's not that big of a tent. I just need to have a flow. So that needs to kind of be put in place. Um, but I am going to bring all of my vinyls with me. And that's going to be a lot of vinyl. I did say I was going to get that thing to hold them all. But it's like a vinyl roll holder. But I might have to come up with something different. Anyway, I'm just giving an update. I'm going to do more of a thorough uh, last day. Like the last couple days of preparing. I think because it's kind of like hectic that it would be good like I think people want to see the hectic I think people want to see the effort that was put into this at last minute because I think everybody panics I think everybody has that moment where they're like uh okay we got three days left okay we have two days left uh oh my god like we're... so yeah the event's on Saturday so I can always I'm bringing my stuff to my dad's house I can always do stuff there but I just, I don't want to have to worry about all of that. So the only thing I would do down there is if I want to do a lot of extra stuff. So even Saturday night, if after the event we realize, okay, we did sell a lot of these out. Are we going to cut tonight or are we going to just cut on the spot tomorrow? Like, what are we going to do? Because we can tell people, oh, okay, can you come back in 20 minutes? We'll have it done for you. I think that's easy. And I think that's reasonable. Like we're, it's like custom on demand. Like, hello. Hello don't like don't expect to just be on the fly I I would like to eventually get heat transfer sheets for all of my designs but right now this is what we're working with so I'm gonna close this up here we're already five minutes in and I don't even know if I gave any bit of good information at all um so yeah as soon as we he, he comes out of the office here we're I'm gonna drop him off and head to the store I need to buy a couple things and then straight home all right we are finishing tidying up and I thought that since I was out here where the um word Sabrina I'm out here with the merch that I showed I'm so sorry about the hair like did I brush it I don't think I ran a brush through it today I think I did look I've got like a little Julio Iglesias I don't know some kind of like Julio Iglesias Ricky Iglesias I don't even know some Fabio style with like a cool bang um, I'm out here with the merch that Des packed up yesterday. We kind of like went through everything and then, um, put little tags. I did say I was going to go over that. Let me show you what I did. So these, for example, see, we put like little price tags, stickers. Those are custom, but these are the ones we got from the garage sale. So from the garage sale, from the Dollar Tree that say garage sale labels. So these are the choices. And then you get the ones, you get some blank ones here at the top to write what you want on it. Um, so we've got my koozies over here. I think I did go through this this morning. These don't have prices because I'm gonna get, um, uh, the sign is gonna say that. These have prices on them. These are the umbrella hats. These have prices on the back of each of these. So those are good. Those purses, they, I, I need to find like a string, like a string price tag. I, I know what I'm talking about. It's kind of loop through and it's got twine or something. I've got to do that. These, I've, um, these individual shot glasses, I have turned, uh, taken each one out and turned them upside down and put the price in the bottom. 
These here are tagged on, yes, see? They're tagged on that, those can hang. These glow sticks inside here are gonna hang as well, but there's no price on it. I just put on the bag. These are not for sale. These are uh, complimentary. Uh, this is here. There's prices on the bottom of my cups, which actually I made these cups, but I'm not putting them in my shop. So I don't wanna put the Sabrina Marie stick or anything because I don't want them to say, I wanna order more. I mean, fine, that's fine. You wanna order more? I will find something to put them on. We will agree on a product to put them on. Florida hats have a price see them right there so there's these hats um, this is her stuff so I've got to work on something on that hat for her design but yes this is what we're working with got a bunch of the supplies for the tent and uh, lights all kind of lights camera action and I already showed you guys that earlier so um, yeah the shirt inventory that is going to be last for me. Um, listings are way more important right now than counting the extra shirts that I have. And why? Because if I count the extra shirts and then don't get to the listings, what the heck am I going to be ringing up at the event? Nothing. All of these things here I have in the Excel sheet, on the Google sheet, that I said I was going to link in the description for free. As long as you sign up to my email list where I can give you great juicy content. These are the four that we're working with. Can you see it? Can you dig it? Those are the four. All right. Simple, cute, fun. Let me flip them all around so you can see them, see the words. And these designs are great. Oh, God. Fail on camera. Ah! Clean your merch before you sell it. Um... Yeah, these designs, maybe I'll make a, a shirt or a, maybe not, not a shirt, but maybe it could be like a koozie or something small because I just don't see Hold Your Horses being on a shirt. That just, none of these on a shirt. Definitely a koozie. Um, and that octopus one is my favorite, like, saying, but I love this one. Summer Breeze and Tropical Drinks, please. And that goes well with the other one that I had that was, um, I mean, now it's on the floor. Like, Sabrina, there's just too much going on for you to be failing every time you try to do something. It's like something else happens. Dropping stuff. This one. These are similar because, and that's where I got the idea from, actually. But the Summer Breeze and Palm Trees, that was already a file in Cricut. Somebody else made it. So I just took the idea. We're sharing. Very similar, right? Summer breeze and palm trees and summer breeze and tropical drinks, please. I think that's fine because I didn't talk about trees. I talked about summer breeze, but like two words. I didn't talk about palm trees at all. And it's not the same font. So just relax. I'm not copying anybody. I'm just putting my little twist on it. But it took forever. I So it's super easy though. Because I have them cut out already. This is why I just, because we were doing other things, right? Like I was doing stuff. We were doing all that tagging last night. And then this is the last thing that we came to. So she came and helped me. She was assembling the keychains. She was doing all of that work over there. Um, I was cutting the vinyl. So I've got an entire sheet here that has, how many is on here? Two of each. Two of each design, which will cover the yellow. Yeah, it'll cover. Okay, so it'll finish everything. I think we're going to work with it. All right, these cups are done. The ones on the right, where you see all the writing, those are done. Just got to do these here. And I have everything. I just need to weed this out. So first things first, I have to tend to for my job job. And then we're going to go over my list. I'm going to come back on here and I'm going to go over my list with you. And then we need to start transferring stuff over to the USB again. Why? Because I have no space. I said I was going to do it yesterday and I didn't. So we're just working with what we have. But I need to get to all of these things. And I am feeling it, guys. I'm feeling the tired. Like, I, I don't know. I can't tell you. I said this the other day. I can't tell you the last time I got a full night's sleep. The only full night's sleep that I might have gotten is on 
Sunday? I don't even know what day it was. I would have to look back at the camera because I think I said it. When I say full hour, full um, night sleep, I mean like eight hours minimum, like not even seven, eight. I don't even think I got seven, but anyway, I'm starting to feel it. So I feel like half of this stuff that I'm saying, I'm probably going to have to clip out. It might just not make sense. It makes sense to me in my head as I'm saying it. But then as I'm listening back to it, when I've actually got a little bit of rest, I'm like, yeah, that doesn't make sense. So last night, I want to say it was probably three o'clock in the morning. Maybe No, it had to be four. It had to be close to four or somewhere around there because she didn't leave my house until like after two, I think. Was it after two? Two o'clock? I don't know. So I was definitely up. I was cleaning um, the office up and, and just tidying up things and... Yeah, and then I woke up at 7, basically 7 o'clock, to go do the Walmart order. So, I had three hours of sleep. Three hours? Like, who can run off of that? No wonder why I'm tired, and I need to treat my body right, because I can't... Who is going to run this thing? And look, this is 19 minutes and 7 seconds of 19 minutes and 51 seconds. I'm going to stop talking. Let me start moving stuff over in the USB, and I will come back on here when I have something interesting to show you. I am going to go over this list now, so that I don't wait till the last minute. I, I want to go over what I'm supposed to be working on. So, um, so this is my to-do list. It definitely ran into tomorrow because tomorrow I have file business extension. I talked about this before and pay overdue bills. Like what? I just, I think I've just lost track of time and realizing like stuff's late. So I've got to get that done. Okay. So clothes hangers, we need those for the t-shirts that we are going to have on display. I need rope slash twine for like this banner that's supposed to be coming in. I need to follow up on the banner. That's another thing. Um, so twine for the banner and for the koozies, we're going to uh, close pin them to the, to the, to the line. Um, so people would just pluck them off from there. Um, signs for the table, more QR stickers. Um, yeah. Follow up on the banner order. Make the listings in Etsy and Square. We are doing that tonight as we are cutting heat transfer vinyl. Finish the keychains and tumblers. So the tumblers are going to be finished here in, in like the next less than 30 minutes. And then I'm going to get these keychains on backing cards that she did for me yesterday with the vinyl. Uh, I'm going to put the vinyl and then pop them on the backing cards. And those check, check, check. The keychains and tumblers will be done. Cut the hat and shirt vinyls. Um... Print more tags, stickers, etc. for shirts and decals and whatnot. Like the instructions on how to apply a decal and so forth. Um, because what I want to do is actually like, so for every, um, I want to put the decals that I've made. I don't have that many, but the decals that I've made for like cars or whatever, I want to um, put them in a cello bag and then put a, like an alcohol swab in there. Because I think that's like the courteous thing to do. Like I, that's why I have a box of alcohol swabs in the back somewhere so I think I'm just going to put that behind the decal and then they can you know it's like just a little thing with the decal application instructions and I think it'll be cute and and put a QR sticker on the back and done so that and um order the Home Depot tables from the marathon store so instead of taking down the tables with us three tables instead of me buying them here and having to transport it with all the other stuff we have buy them there is a Home Depot in marathon that is right down the street from the event marathon's not small everything is right down the street from everything but buying them there and picking them up on Friday morning because we're setting up between two and four that's our slot so if we can pick that up in the morning check it check check get the sand we need and done so that's my list of things I just wanted to go over that Thursday Friday Saturday Sunday I think I need to sit down on Wednesday and just think that because there's gonna be a lot happening and I mean, it, it's basically just Seafood Fest. Like, what else am I going to write? But I want to make sure that for each day that I know, like, hey, it was a Saturday night, like, if we run out, make more. Or what, like, it's just common sense, I guess, at that point. But I just, for me, it's better when I see it written down. So, yes. So I have all of these um, that I cut out. I started weeding and just applying as I go. Weed it, apply it. Weed it, apply it. Checkity check. Finish the dang tumblers already. So I just wanted to let you know that I am waiting on that, like I said, to transfer and we are making progress. 
progress. You see all my videos? Ah! Like, what? What are you, a professional blogger? Professional vlogger? Like, I don't understand. So what does it say? About 40 minutes. So this is on point. This computer is very new, very knowledgeable, and knows what it's talking about. So when it says 45 minutes and then 40, five minutes go by and it says 40 again, I don't think that it's going to be like, oh, estimated time, and then it winds up being double that. So I'm pretty sure it's accurate. We're going to work on that. I need to jump on something for ConvertKit and then get right back to what I'm doing. I need to get this done. So we will follow up in a bit. Happy, what is the day? We are currently in a new day, but March 9th, ah, Wednesday, March 9th. And I'm whispering because look at my eyes. Do you see this? Another late night. It is now one o'clock and my son is hopefully sleeping. If he's not, well, he better be. But a lot of the times if he's not and he hears me talking or working on something, like he just, it's like he won't go to bed. Anyway, I wanted to get on here because I didn't show much of what I did after um, today of what I did after when I said I was going to move everything over to the USB and then blah, blah, blah. All of that is done. So I am starting tomorrow fresh and I feel so great. Um, and I'm probably going to do it one more time before we head down to the keys on Thursday, because we're going to have a lot. We are going to pack the vehicle tomorrow. So, um, she's been coming over like every day. I feel like Monday, Tuesday. Yeah. So she came over this weekend like, oh, so sorry. She came over Friday night of last week. Then she came over, so she came over Friday night into basically Saturday morning. And then Monday night, Tuesday night, which was, we're currently Tuesday night slash Wednesday morning. But I feel like she was here Sunday. No, I don't think. Maybe not. N no, she wasn't here Sunday. No, she was going to, but she didn't. Um, so yeah, it's like, what? Like, what's going to happen? Am I going to see you after the event happens? Like, are we still going to meet up every day? No. But we're definitely, we're going to need a long, 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 long break. Ah, I'm so tired. So tomorrow, what I want to start the day with is, first of all, on a positive note, like I'm trying to stay positive, even the things that are happening and coming up, it just doesn't make sense. Why are there so many roadblocks and so many issues? Like today alone, I think it was about one, two, two issues. Well, let's just say two issues that were not... Um, Two business issues, I guess. One being an issue with the transfer sheets that I got in today. That I will, that's a whole different thing tomorrow. Then the banner. Like I, I am going to pick up the banner from Staples, which if you've watched the other videos or the other clips, I guess, I don't know how I'm going to arrange this because I haven't edited it yet. Um, I ordered from banners on the cheap.com. Well, now I know why they're called that because more like banners on the fly.com. Like they, what a hot mess. Anyway, I just, there's a lot, there's a lot, but I'm so excited and so grateful for all the things that I have been able to accomplish, especially with Desiree's help, like her coming over tonight, like just to, and the night before, um, just helping me finalize like these keychains. We tagged things together, just overall like brainstorming and organizing and getting all of this stuff ready. So I, everything is coming together and it just makes me so happy. Like, I don't know. I'm so excited, but this, oh my God, this is going to be different. I've never done this before. And Apparently, I can't stop yawning. I'm just super tired and I need to catch up on my sleep. But, um, 
yeah, we're going to start tomorrow off on a positive note. Um, wake up early. I mean, it's, it's one o'clock now, so I'm definitely going to bed right now. I'm going to set my alarm for seven, wake up, get some stuff done before I have to get him ready for school. Um, and just kind of like lay out the day. I have my list that I made out la like two nights ago and yeah, not tonight, but the night before that. Um, and I was able to mark off so much. Actually, I didn't even mark off the last thing. So placing the order with um, Home Depot, did that tonight. That was another major one. So what we decided to do was, and I, I should have clarified. So what we decided to do was order the tables and a couple chairs and one more, like clamps for the tent. Because we got an advisory from the... Um, the lady who's in charge of this, that they're having like a wind advisory on Saturday evening, like 20 to 30 mile per hour winds, which I mean, you don't think that that's really a lot, but it's enough wind to, if it catches up under the tent, right? Like for it to like take the tent and send it sailing through the sky. So the last thing I want to do is show up on Sunday morning and like, where's the tent at? So, um, yeah, we just got like some clips and stuff to kind of hold that down to some extra sandbags, I think. So we're going to kind of figure that out when we get there. Um, being that we have a later setup time than we thought, well, that we had filled out a 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. or 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. setup time, she put us for 2 to 4, which I'm kind of excited for because that means Friday morning, if we get there late Thursday... We're going to leave here Thursday after, uh, evening and get there late Thursday night slash Friday morning, depending on how long it takes us to get there, what time we leave. But that is why we are packing tomorrow, which would be, it's not tomorrow. It's right now is Wednesday at 1 a.m. So we're pack, we're going to be packing this afternoon after she gets off of work and getting everything in there and whatever we can't manage to fit. I'm just really glad that we decided to get the tables in Marathon because we're going to sell. We're going to sell so much stuff that like we're not going to have anything. Well, not anything. We're not going to have so much stuff to bring back that we're going to have display stuff. But merch, like hopefully we sell the heck out. And when we do, we're going to have all this empty space in the van where I can bring those tables back. And we're going to use those tables to do the events that are coming up. Um at the end of this month or whatever we decide to do, I, we need some time to recoup. And there's an event that's happening like three days after this one. And it's impossible like to, to restock and to get stuff in and, and our, our mental and physical health is just like, I, I can see us getting worn down. Um, but we've learned a lot from this. And I think that myself definitely to start preparing early. Um, it, it's just, start preparing early. Like that is the main, main, main thing. And then don't beat yourself up when you, it, this is my thing is I, I come up with designs kind of like on the fly and I might be creative feeling be, what am I saying? I might feel creative one day and the next day I don't feel as creative and I'm not going to come up with any designs. Some days I can sit there and come up with a hundred designs, but then I might look back and be like, oh, those were crappy ideas. They were great yesterday and they suck now that I look at it. So there's a lot of designs that I've done that I've never implemented. So I've been working, technically I've been working this entire time and it's been all like brainstorming, like not really implementing and physically getting the keychains together and physically cutting out the vinyl and all this, the physical stuff you need to sell. We're selling products, right? But you can't do that without having the designs in place. And how the heck are you going to have the designs in place if you haven't gone through the brainstorming process? Like, it just doesn't make sense. So, yes, when I say prepare early, I prepared as early as I could because that was what, back in October? I was already coming up with ideas. So, like the koozies and the this and the that, whatever. Like, I don't know. I was like slapping stuff on koozies. Like, just coming up with random stuff that I thought was funny or cool or that would sell. And I'm proud of them. Honestly, I'm proud of my koozies. I'm proud of the t-shirt designs that I have. I'm planning to have a lot more. These ones that are at the fest are simply like 
fishing sayings and stuff that are, are so, you know, are around like what we're going to do. So I'm probably going to still take, um, some other ones. I haven't decided tomorrow is what I'm going to be focusing that on that and cutting the rest of the vinyls I want. So yeah, I'm feeling accomplished, but I'm feeling very tired and still feeling like with as much as I've accomplished, I still feel like I'm missing a lot, but I am really upset about the heat transfer, um, sheets. And I, I would have to show you tomorrow. I was going to do an unboxing and guess what? I'm glad like an unboxing on camera. I'm glad I didn't do it because I don't know how that video would have turned out. Like I was just really upset. So that is for like story time. Like we can start that on tomorrow's, um, tomorrow's clip because it's just too much for right now. I can't, and I don't want to go to bed like sour, you know, it's like crazy. Like it's uh, whatever. Cause guess what? I'm going to make that work. I am going to make it work. And that's what it is. And I'm probably going to show you how I'm going to make it work because why we're showing the wins, we're showing the fails. And this just happens to be a fail and not on my part. Definitely not on my part because I did everything in my power to communicate with them on what I wanted. And I, I don't know how else to set up the file like so freaking perfect. And then you just what? Like, why is stuff missing? Anyway, I don't want to give you any really like clues as to what happened. But anyway, that is my rant of the night because I always get on a rant before bed. But, um, yeah, I just wanted to document how I'm feeling. I'm just feeling really, um, I don't know. Like, I feel like I should be super overwhelmed right now. But I also have to understand that, like, I can only do so much being that it's just me. And I don't know what to expect. I've never done this before. And... I'm just winging it. Like I said, this channel, we are just winging life because how do I know how many keychains I'm going to sell? What if I don't sell one keychain, but I sell out of all my shirts? Like, I don't know. I'm assuming I'm going to sell a little bit of everything, but guess what? Everything matches and I am like dying. Like the stuff that I'm selling and the stuff that she's selling, it's like, it just works. It just freaking works. And so I cannot wait to get that tent up. So I, on my end, I just need to make sure I have as many shirt vinyls as I can possibly have and work with what we have. And she is going to go back to the wholesale district tomorrow. I think she said, I'm calling it a district. I, I don't know if that's what they call it, but, um, she's like, do you sure you don't want me to pick you up more stuff? And I'm thinking like, ah, please no. As much as I would want to have more stuff, I don't want to get carried away. I want to see what people are buying and I want to see if they're buying at the price that I'm setting it for because if they are flying off the shelf, clearly I need to raise my prices because I must be just giving them away at that point. And if they're too high, then I'm assuming people won't buy as much. So maybe next time then I would consider lowering the price. So this is a learning process. I still have to go count my, my shirt inventory now that I'm thinking about it. Like, ah, like that should have been on my list of things to do. And I did not write that down. Did I? No, I didn't. And the mirror, I need to remember to take the mirror off. Oh my God. Like I need to set these reminders because if I forget, yeah, we're going to need that mirror. That mirror is going to be hot. It's just, it's my son's, um, full length mirror. It's like, it hangs behind his door. Is that? Yeah, it hangs. So it should be super easy. I don't know how we're going to hang it anywhere. Probably prop it up somewhere. But it's going to look good. So I'm going to do that. I've got to do stuff. Not just that. I've got to do stuff to prepare. Like I have I have to like, I, we have pets. So I have to like clean their cages and like make, I, one of them was cleaned already a couple of days ago. I have to, it's a bird cage. So I have to like clean the bird cage before I go and um, make buy food at the store. Like all these little things. And I'm just like overwhelmed.com so I am gonna go ahead and wrap this up because now that I'm thinking about all these things I've got to make sure I have these notes down like this is what you're gonna do um because it's really important I'm, we're having um my sister-in-law said she she would watch 
she would watch the birds. So uh, b all of them, I guess. All seven birds and one hamster. So um, definitely need to have that sorted because I don't want her to feel like she has to clean the cage. What? Like, just feed them and water them. That's it. So um, we're going to start off tomorrow positive. We're going to do it. We are going to do it. So I just want to wrap this up really quick. I'm exhausted. I feel like these dark. Maybe I should turn this way. It always looks, looks better whenever I turn and they disappear. And then I do this and it's like, oh, I'm so old. Anyway, I'm wrapping it up, guys, for the last freaking time. I hope everybody is having a great start to the week. Happy hump day, and we'll see you tomorrow. I mean, more like we'll see you in the morning in a few hours. Ah. Ooh, it's 9-11, guys. 9-11. 9-11. This happens every day, every single day. If it doesn't, I, I don't know. I don't know what kind of day it's going to be. But I always happen to look at the clock at that time. Like, anyway. So, I'm on my way to Staples to get the banner that, ha, huh, I did say that was going to be like part of story time. Sorry if it's jiggling around. I still, that's what I need at Walmart. I'm, I'm Walmart, Staples. <clears throat> I'm going to Staples to pick up a banner. I ordered from Banners on the Cheap. That was a whole disaster. They said they were trying to email me since the first of this month, which now it's like, well, that was yesterday. So it was like eight days. <clears throat> and I said, I didn't get a phone call. I have no emails in my inbox, not in my spam, nothing. And it's a domain email. Like it's, it's like, you know, ha it's not a Gmail or anything like that. So I don't understand why it didn't come through. They're saying, yes, they sent it. Okay, whatever. They're trying to tell me that there was an error. Like, they couldn't print it or didn't want to print it because it was so blurry. I need to send it as a different type of file. I need to set it with a different resolution. I'm not sure what they wanted from my life. So, either way, they could not get a hold of me. So, it came to be that... Um, I'm sorry. I'm trying to turn and I just... this. Intersect. It's not even an intersection. What? It's a plaza. Like, it's so hard to get into. So, um, yeah. So they basically said because they weren't able to get a hold of me, it was still being, it was still on hold. But you would think that if nobody's responding by email, that well, give them a call. You have to put a phone number when you place the order. What's going on? So I just canceled with them because. Apparently, Stables does same-day banners, which I had no idea. Thanks, friend. I had no idea that they did same-day banners. And you know what? She probably told me that. And it went in one ear and out the other because there's so many moving parts to this thing and going on on top of everything in life. And I just, I, I feel bad because I'm sure she said it. I'm sure she told me. And I just probably was like, oh, okay. And didn't hear what she said. I don't know. I don't know. So that's that. We're gonna order. Um, I, we're gonna order. We're gonna pick up this banner, and I think it's gonna look great. It is a three by six. It was about. I got a discount code. I think. It, did I have a discount code? I think I had a discount code. Anyway, but I need something to clip on my vent to hold my phone because this whole jiggling around. If it can just sit here guys can watch me drive drive with me or something where I can mount it oh that would be good like a phone mount that I can stick to the window yes that would look really good um we can do that too so we're gonna go in check we we're not I am I'm going in I don't know why I keep saying we because there's no one else with me no one this car is empty besides me I think I'm gonna do the um this mask today because they can't see me behind the thing, which is great. Like I say, keep them guessing. No, you don't know who's behind the mask. Am I really the person that should be picking this banner up? Probably not. But I am. So at least here they can see my eyes and maybe it looks like I'm a human and not like a robot. So we're going to go in there now, do that, and then I'm going to give you story time about the transfer sheets. So 
stay tuned. Check out these tables. Well, they're desks, they're not tables. We got the banner we got the banner so I got the banner and it looks freaking amazing so I also got a few other things I found a phone mount which is for like suction for the dashboard and um, for the like to clip on the vent so we're gonna see how this works out because we're gonna go to Starbucks what do they call it Star what do they call Starbucks? Starbies? Star Starbies. That is what the cool kids say. And I'm not cool because I'm not a kid. God, that sounded like, like a song from Encanto. So. I'm going to do probably a reveal on camera. For the um let me get this thing set up i'm sorry for all the noise i'm just super excited so let me take this off too this is like stifling wait starbucks is on the other it's across the road so this is the one i got versatile phone holder staples 24.99 let me make sure because last time yes 24.99 I got um, some charger cables that are really cool. They're light up, glow in the dark. So these are the two colors. This one, this one, and they do two different things. So they actually um, connect, they're a two-in-one cable, lightning and micro USB. And it's like speed of change, it says the light flows at speed of charge and stops when complete. So that's really cool. I know my son's gonna like these. So that one and that one. One does the micro uh, USB to the, like, to iPhone, I think. And then, or what do they call it, charger? iPhone, right? Lightning? I guess you guys call it lightning. Um, when I see you guys, or all you Apple users. And then the other one does the USB-C, which is that C port that I'm always saying is annoying. I got some Cricut blades. Yes, players. I didn't know. I was like, $9.99, that's super expensive. But hello, there's two in there. We're in business. So I'm going to open this right now. Do a little unboxing with me. I have to get home. I have a lot of stuff to do, but this was a big win this morning. I have to go get some, like, some clothes to wear. I have to get something to wear. Now, most people would be like, I said jeans, but most people would say jeans. Jeans and an outdoor. You know what, guys? It's going to be hot. And you know when it's hot you sweat and if I do something like leggings or some kind of work like I, too many times I've seen people walking around with sweat marks and that is not attractive like the last thing I want to do is on be on the Florida Keys news with sweat marks in my cracks like no thank you so we're doing the old Gina Roos jeans the t-shirts oh <laughs> I have to design the t-shirts today. Not design them. I'm slapping our logos on them. And probably, maybe I'll put them in 57. Maybe not. I can't put the booth number because we're going to want to reuse these shirts for the event, right? 
Okay. So, oh, sh did I break it? God, like, could you be any less gentle opening this thing? <sighs> Apparently, I don't know what I'm doing because I just thought I almost broke this. But, um, does this side come out? I don't know, man. I don't know. Anyway, this part clips to this. We are going to try not the vent, not the vent clip because the vent clip seems to be a little touchy. We're going to do the old phone mount on the dash. On the window, I mean. On the window. We're going to act like real vloggers. So this is the part that goes on. Um, well, let me clip it on here and then I'll show you. I'm sorry. Apparently, I just, I'm really tired. I'm really tired. Like, and the, the simple things that I should normally know how to do are, like, becoming really difficult for me to, to do. To do. I, I just, okay, so how does this work? When it's on the phone mount, it just, I mean, when it's, oh, Includes the vent clip. This is the vent clip. <laughs> One button release expands arms up to 3.5 inches. Okay. So maybe this is the wrong one. If I this is the vent clip. This has to clip on here. Okay, Sabrina, get it together. Yes. Okay. That's that. And then they have it positioned coming from here to here, turn, what is this, service airbag, I don't have time to service the airbag, when am I going to have time for that, oh, let me take this off, yes, people are going to think, hey, she, oh god, I'm so sorry for that view, ew, why would I even, Sabrina, you Nobody wants to see that. Wait, how do I? Okay. I think it has to go down lower. This person, like, put it in the center. I don't want to be, like, the center of attention either. Let me, let me pause this. Guys, I think we're in business. I am hooking you up. I'm hooking you up. I'm hooking me up. Hookity hook hook. So, how is that view? I feel like that is weird. I'm used to being like, I don't know, at a different angle. Like, is that weird? Is that a weird angle? Driving? I guess it's easier to look that way. It's easy if I was using like a GPS or something. But we're in business. This banner, hot. Oh my God. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. So, this is what we're... No! Maybe there's something free. I dropped it. Anyway, this phone clip was not cheap, but it looks like a very good brand, and I'm not mad. I am home. I am here with the banner. I just laid it out because I, I did get a brief look at it in the store. But I mean, it's not like the dude was helping me. Um, you know what? I should just lay it on the floor because that's, I mean, that's the easiest way for it to look flat, right? So let me turn it around. Look at that. I'm loving it. You got Harris Business Solutions, DK Canes, and it looks great. I'm glad that we went with this because who knows what we would have gotten. And it comes with the whole grommets. So we are good to go on this banner. Check. Check that off the list. I'm going to do, I was going to say we again. I'm going to do a shirt unboxing slash inventory. I did promise that I was going to do that. I'm just grabbing a pen and I'm grabbing a knife. Now I'm grabbing this envelope opener just to open up the box. Um, does anybody else feel like sick after they eat too much fast food? I just, I really, I was hungry. I know I need something. I didn't even really want to eat, but if I don't eat, then I'm probably going to come home and still not eat and not get coffee. And I just needed it. So 
feeling a little gross right now, but I'm going to sit down and unbox these shirts and make sure that everything is there, first of all, and do a little quality control, making sure that none of the shirts have like big fat holes in them or anything like that. And then we're going to put it in this in these, I'm sorry, jumbo. So this is the one that I got on Amazon. Link in the description. I'll let you know how that it works because I've never used these before. I've used Space Saver, but what the heck? I mean, it's gotta be the same, right? And they're jumbo. So hopefully it's gonna fit all of these shirts. I don't know, we'll see. All right, I'm going to unbox. I'm trying to avoid, first of all, I'm doing this with one hand. Trying to avoid not only cutting myself, but cutting the shirts inside. Because there's shirts in there, right? And nobody wants to cut the shirts. And I don't want to show my address. So you know what? Maybe I should peel the label off. Yes, I'm doing this from this angle. Why? Because I want you to be here with me when I'm doing it. When I'm cutting. I don't want you to be looking at the background. Seeing that I've got shoes in my doorway and stuff, and what my entire house looks like. So that's just not what the channel's about. So you can listen with me, cause I'm right here. Do a little listening party. I have a new album. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. Ah, yes. So unbox with me, what is this? What colors do we have here? Ooh, see, they pack it so tight. But I, I kind of like that they don't fold them because I fold them in different... I mean, who has time to do that? That many shirts. So they fold it like, you know, all the browns are together here. Now, this is like for this box. So then you have all the sand. You have more white. More white. Ah, there's so many whites. Okay. So... We got black, green, ooh, purple. That tropical blue is down at the bottom. And then in this box, there's our invoice. Let's not show the address. See, green I got, I didn't get that many because I'm just doing um, St. Patrick's Day shirts. That's fine. And I think I'm just gonna do maybe two designs. If anything, it might say, um, what the heck was it? Get lucky. Or lucky AF. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what we come up with. And if they want to get it on a... Well, I don't have green vinyl, so it's not going to work. They're going to have to get on a green, white on a green shirt. They can get glow in the dark. They can get a black shirt with glow in the dark that turns green. These are all... This all looks like black. So, we're good. So, black in that box. Black in the box? <laughs> Jack in the box. This is when, you know, I've lost my mind. I think I lost my mind a few, few weeks ago. But... There's basically in here is the brown, sand, and white. And this one is some black, green, purple, and tropical blue. And in this one is all black. So we are going to get to counting. We are going to get you in the tripod. And what? Film this shirt order. Um, <laughs> what? Film, film the shirt order? Film me doing this shirt inventory sorry for this unprofessional angle it looks a little janky but okay so i'm laying down this is like the same color as my couch why i don't know let's see if i can set you here i set you here okay so we're here we're just working in my house so i've got the order here and I'm going to um, go through this. So I have, I'm gonna lay out all of these, all of the shirts that are on. I'm gonna take them out right now and I'm gonna put them on my couch and then we're gonna go through the stack. <laughs> large. 
So we're gonna take those, put them in between. So we have small, medium, large, extra large. And we are only doing small through 2X. Why? Because the price that's 3X plus 4X, yada, 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 all those sizes, they get very pricey. I mean like $7 a pop. Like I can't, I can't come out of pocket for that. I'm sorry. I wish I could. Um, I do want to support, obviously, people of bigger size. I'm of bigger size. I am out of breath already. And that was only one box. So we do support bigger sizes in our hearts, but we do not carry those sizes, unfortunately. I just can't. So that's these. I haven't even opened them. There are, holy crap, there's four pieces in this one. What? I have eight in total? I thought it was four in total. <gasps> that's even better. Ooh. Win. Win some, lose some. This is a win. The loss was the banner yesterday. I hope I finished telling that story. Oh, oh, I didn't tell you the story about the transfer sheets. So maybe we should do a little story time as we do the shirts because it kind of has to do with the same thing, right? I have nothing bad to say about all day shirts except for like the price of shipping. That's it. Can I get free shipping, please, Mama Dukes? So, but when it comes to shirts in general, obviously the heat transfer sheets from Transfer Express are going to go on these shirts. I have to show you when I'm done doing this, I'm going to show you the result of, I think it's the, actually maybe both of them. So there was a design. A lot of my designs had, um, like a fishing pole on them. And when I say fishing pole, it was like a thin, um, it was a very thin line. So they either couldn't do it because it was so thin, but they never contacted me saying that. They said, are you okay with closure? And I already filmed a clip about this where I said closure is okay for me because I'm okay with it as long as it's legible. They said, yes, it will be. Okay, I'm fine. They didn't even attempt it. They took the fishing rods out of the entire designs. And there's like four or five designs, or is it three or four? I, I think it's four designs that have fishing rods on them, if not five. So they're just words. They were words with, with rod, with fishing rods, and now there's no rod. So it's like, what am I supposed to do with that? What am I? So we're going to make it work. I think I have to cut out um, some vinyl. I just have to, or a different design and put it on there. I can't just like, anyway, that's a whole fail. Let's, let's just not talk about it while we're doing this because we're supposed to focus on inventory. So the greens, let me set the greens to the side because that's its own thing purple we got that in to replenish our purples oh i see the blue wait these aren't navy these are blue i thought i ordered navy oh well didn't i order navy am i going crazy brown blue royal blue but this doesn't look like to me royal blue is not is a little bit darker than this but it's still really pretty right and this actually actually this is probably brighter than our tent is very dark but i wanted shirts that were gonna be the same color as our tent but i guess it's okay right dk canes has blue in hers i i mean listen it is what it is if we don't wear these then we don't wear these but it's just a freaking blue shirt what the heck this with white I'm okay with that. I just thought I could have sworn that I worn uh, that I ordered navy. So it's fine. They're shirts, guys. They're shirts. They're gonna get sweaty. And I so I ordered up. This, these are for us. These yes, I have to take inventory, but these are for us for like our uniform. <laughs>
sorry. I didn't mean to leave you down there. There's an extra large. All these are extra large. This is getting real, guys. Getting real. And on top of all of this, I don't want to look like a super hot mess at the event either. I've got to do a little self-care before I go down there. You know? I'm going to be seeing people I haven't seen in probably years. And I'm not trying to look like a complete disaster. So, nails, hair, feet, whatever. My feet are not going to be, because you know how I feel about feet. If you saw my video when I was going to Staples the first time, where I said, nobody is going to be zooming in to my feet walking across the parking lot. We don't do that in our vlogs. However, I might do it for you guys when I'm wearing sneakers at the fest. Everything's going to be recorded. These are our shirts. These are our sizes. These are our shirts. They're all here. So I just have to take out um, take out the white shirts for us. Done. So I obviously include those in the inventory. Um, what? Not inventory. I'm going to check it off the list that I received them, but I am not adding these blue and white shirts that I just pulled out. I'm not adding it to the Excel sheet. So... I just, you know, I just wanted to let you know so I can make sense. So, and I'm going to take a little walk through with me. So we're going to go ahead and do this, um, making sure everything is here, but also, um, wait, priority. I'm priority. Oh, quality control approved. Now you can't possibly check every shirt. There's a lot of shirts. What is the total? The total The total is 211 shirts, okay? We are not quality controlling all of those. We are simply counting them. We are gonna be um, checking them. I don't know why I'm holding my pen like this. We're counting them, checking them off on here. They've already checked off. Let me just hold this down. They already include like a check off, like somebody went through and verified that, you know, this color and this quantity match it. You know what I mean? This is, this is this. I hope I don't sound like that. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Because that gets really annoying when somebody keeps saying that. You know what I mean? So I'm sorry if I keep repeating things. It's a habit. And I just fill my blank. You know, my, my pauses, I usually fill with something. Like, you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? So I apologize if you're annoyed. You don't need to subscribe if I annoy you. Please don't. I'd prefer you not to be subscribed and putting crappy comments because, like, you're so annoying. I don't know who does that, but people do definitely have the time to do that. So let's get going. We're going to do this. I'm going to make sure that this video, document this, Sabrina, promise your followers and your subscribers that you're going to put the same Excel sheet, the Google sheet, that you created to do your inventory. You're going to provide this template to your amazing subscribers and followers because why because we like free stuff and we like giving free stuff away to a certain point and if i can help you with a template i'm going to give you the template so let's get going XL, we have six, two, four, and six. Mama Dukes, your team is on point. Mama Dukes, I need you to meet up with me at the Pompano location. We need to make a video. We need this to go viral. 
I love your shirts. I'm obsessed with your company. And apparently I'm obsessed with you because I had another, I haven't posted the video yet, but when I found out you were in Pompano Beach, I was like, I was psyching out. I'm gonna be totally honest with you. And I felt like I was like fangirling for a moment. I'm like, it, this lady just wants to run a business. She doesn't wanna have crazy psycho fan ladies running around trying to like find her at her location. I just didn't know you were located in Pompano. Like we are neighbors, girl. I'm coming on over. I can get my shirts in person. I don't even have to pay shipping at that point. So I'm just letting you know, can we meet up? Can we meet up? I'm gonna show you what I'm doing. Do you see this? I'm taking inventory. Your team is on point. I've got my invoice right here. And I am out of breath, I'm sorry. I don't know how you run around the warehouse all day because I can't. Right here, see, checking it off. Just doing some triple quality control. I know you guys already did it because the stamp is on there. Quality control approved. Look at this. We've got all these shirts that we just unboxed out of these three boxes and let me show you. Let me show you something because this is going on TikTok and I can only do three minutes apparently, which is so annoying. This is what I have previously. I just ordered 211 shirts from you and look what I have. Yes, this is what I have. See, Transfer Express sheets on the top. We're in business. <sighs> Mama Dukes, I'm just telling you. We can do big things. We really can. So if you want to come to the Marathon Seafood Fest, we are going to be there this weekend promoting your shirts. And when I say promoting your shirts, these are the Gildan shirts. So they're all Gildan. Gildan 500. Um, and we're just putting our designs on it. So this weekend, March 12th and 13th, Marathon Seafood Festival runs all day Saturday into the night and then Sunday. So we hope to see you there. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't know what the last thing is that I recorded because I'm all over the place. My dad called me, my husband's calling me, and it's totally fine because we are trying to get stuff coordinated. This is what it is, but I think I got a package. FedEx and it was knocking when I was making, when I was trying to put together the TikTok. Yes, what is it? I bet you it's not even for me. Do you see this Florida sun is so bright? What is going on? This is not for me. How much you wanna bet? It's a pair of shoes for my husband who won't stop ordering shoes. Yes, I'm talking to you. I'm gonna leave that right there because if it's not festival material, we're not touching it. I just have to show these amazing curtains. We bought, like this room is so bright now. I am loving it. He doesn't even really need these LED lights, right? They're really nice still. But um, we lined the closet, the entire closet with it. Um, this curtain he picked yesterday from Walmart when we went to go get stuff. Look at it. Look at it, look at it, look at it. It's a Minecraft curtain, but it lets a lot of light in. And we, he had a blackout curtain before. And the blackout curtain is, it didn't black out all the light, but it is just bringing, like, poor little Dorothy. She's, like, been living in, <sighs> she must be sleeping, because now she realizes it's daytime. And before, she didn't know day from night, because it was always dark in here. Anyway, package was not for me. Check! One less thing I gotta worry about. So, all day shirts, inventory is perfect. Oh, these kind of things, save these. Save this kind of stuff because what I use this for is, um, so anything, like when my husband gets his shoes in, I'm taking that. When he got some, some bags in, like a backpack, I kept everything in there. Shipping materials that you get from things that you order, keep them and recycle them. I used that to stuff. Let me just show you. I think I showed you already. Look at this table. Look how colorful this table is. I am obsessing my koozies. Is it a koozie or a cozy? I don't know, cause I don't know. This is by far one of my favorites. I just like the design that I did. Okay, these. So you, we, not you stuffed. I stuffed these with that kind of stuff because they were really flat without it. So things like bags, and you know what? I can actually, oh geez, I'm tripping over things. You know, Sabrina, just, can you just get it together? These materials we got yesterday and I forgot that they were there. Can you say, shot o'clock? Yes. 
So things, I'm going to save that and I'm going to stuff at least the, um, the bags that are on display. I'm going to put that in there. And if I like sell this one, I'm going to say, would you mind if I recycled this, pa um, what's in here to put in the next one that I'm going to put on display or whatever. Maybe they want to keep the one that's in the bag just like this. And I don't need to fill it with, but this I need to display as if it's filled. See, it does have stuff in there already, but not much. It's like cardboard. So keeping and recycling things, just do it. Why not? Now these boxes, I'm going to have to break them down because they're not going to fit in my recycling bin. So we're going to take out all of this stuff. There's not one in there. And so I've got this. I've got this Amazon box. I've got this Amazon box. So these kind of things too. This, this is great for when you're packing stuff for customers. And I'm planning on getting a lot of orders in after this event. So save your packing materials and stop going out and buying them. I was in Staples today and amazed by the price that they were charging for shipping stuff. Bubble envelopes, ridiculous. So you're going to have to pay for the envelopes, unless you're going to make your own. Like, who's going to do that? I'm not. So you already have to pay for envelopes. Why not not pay? Oh, the mail truck is here. I wonder if there's anything else coming in. This, are we going to keep this? I think I'm going to try to transport the entire... The entire, I need like some rubber stoppers to keep the keychains from flying off. I don't want to have to rebuild this again. It's not a big deal, but it's just, it's already put together. It looks great. Why would you want to take that apart? You know what I mean? So if I can get some stoppers here, like rubber, I don't even know what they're called. A, a rubber stopper or find some rubber and put it on there to stop that from coming off. That would work. So... That's something I have to figure out. Uh, I'm, I'm sure I'll find something in my office. Um, the bag from Staples that we got earlier. We just got these chargers. I think I started showing you. I don't know if I was getting a phone call at the same time. Oh my God. Do I still have... No. I thought I'm so greedy. I thought I still had um, jalapeno poppers from Burger King. If you've never had them, please try them. Jalapeno. Are they called poppers or peppers there? I don't know. They're fried, of course, with cheese in them, and they're really good. That's what I had for breakfast with, like, a burrito meal or something. I don't know. We're going to keep this, though. So my son made these little, like, he used these boxes. Again, reusing things. I got the koozies in boxes, or at least the short, stubby ones in boxes, and we reused the boxes to separate the styles of keychains. So you can see those here. Bear, Spaceman. Snoopy love dog keychain. And he drew on them. Ha! Huh? See? Cute. I don't want to throw this away. But I also don't want just stuff sitting around. Like, I've got stuff to return to Dollar Tree. We're just trying to clean up. So as you're working, clean up your workspace. Because if not, you're not going to be able to find anything. And you're going to be overwhelmed. Overwhelmed. It's going to be too much. So, I just wanted to give you that little update. I'm going to leave the jumbo storage bags there out in the living room right next to where the shirts are when she comes this evening and we start packing stuff in the first thing i want to do we want to use the sunlight use the sunlight we want to utilize or take advantage of the fact that it's light outside so right now like there's light coming in here we want to use that same light to pack the van and i'm sorry if i keep scratch it's like all the dust and ah it's like itching the dust from the shirts and the boxes so I'm feeling good it's way cleaned up way more cleaned up than before I already know that the boxes are gonna be recycled the shirts are stacked up and counted I am freaking set we are gonna go to the computer now we're gonna add those shirts in finally because I knew that I had to do something we're gonna add those shirts into the inventory into the um, this Google Sheet that I've been telling you. But let me just give you a quick look around of my space. Still cleaned up. I mean, with the exception of like, hello, that's what I just tripped over here. Let's not trip over the alcohol. We need that for shot o'clock. So these are the shirts. These are the ones that we're wearing. So you know what? I need to take these with me because they need to go in the office and they're gonna have a design on them. Um, 
I'm sorry, I thought I heard something ringing, but it must be my air conditioner. Um, this is it. This here um, are the ones going in, hold on one second, the phone is sliding out again of the phone case, uh, of the tripod. So this here is the this one, purple, tropical blue, sand, chocolate, green, I'm not even zoomed in on the right thing, and underneath that, is white and black. The white and black are the ones that we are not folding. I have enough white and black that fits on the shelf just like that and we're not pulling any more out. We are gonna lay them flat and see what we can fit in the jumbo, um, the jumbo stuff. We're gonna take all of the ones that are folded, we're gonna seal those in. We're gonna take the ones that are not folded, we're gonna still seal those in a separate bag. So we're gonna be very strategic about this so we can fit as much as possible in this van. Like we need to make it work. I need to break the shelf down. We need to do all of that. So let me just finish showing. So that's the stack, right? They were all over the place. So one stack and the purple, the teal, the sand and the green and the brown are going to be folded and put in the same bag as all the other folded shirts. The whites and the blacks underneath, that sounds so racist. Like the white shirts and the black shirts underneath all of these colored shirts are going to be um, not folded and just simply sucked in one of those bags there. Um, and then yeah, this is all trash. Recycle, we're gonna recycle those boxes. The banner is over here sitting up top. That's just the box from the, um, from the bags. And the, from the seal, vacuum seal bags. I don't know why I have it over here. Like, why don't I just put them in here? That would make sense, right? Let's not make more garbage than we need to. And then, if anything, I've got the box that I got them in. Um, the crates, you already know about that. We're actually going to utilize the crates to carry some of the things that we have over here that's loose. So we are making this work. Make it work for you. It doesn't have to look attractive. Not everything has to look aesthetically pleasing. It really irritates me when people like spend so much time trying to make things look good, but then nothing functions. They still can't find anything because they put everything away. Do you ever see a real kitchen that has nothing on the countertops? What? Like, do you live there? Do you live there? Do you use your kitchen? You don't have a toaster on the counter. You don't have a rice maker, no coffee pot. Like so aesthetically pleasing, yes. And then when you have to cook, where's your crock pot at? Where? So again, one of my rants, and I'm not meaning to, I'm not angry at anybody. Maybe I'm just a hostile person. I don't know, but I'm, I'm not yelling. This is me on a daily. Just keep it real. Don't worry about being pretty. Okay. Life is not about being pretty. Nature is pretty. Nature is perfect in its own way. Humans are not humans are not perfect by far. So yeah, don't worry about making, don't worry about it, sweetheart. Don't worry about trying to be perfect because it's just never going to happen. You're never going to be perfect. You're never going to be good enough. I'm just kidding. I need a drink. Clearly this coffee that I'm working off of in this water, not happening. I need a little spice in my life. So for all you people that are thinking I'm going to get an alcoholic drink, fooled ya. I'm actually going to get this diet ginger ale that I picked up from Walmart last night that I realized I didn't finish. So yeah, that's what we're doing. You know why? Because we're going to save the drinking for later. We have things to do. We don't have time to drink. Who drinks? Nobody. Nobody drinks when they're preparing for this kind of thing. Unless they're on a deadline. I didn't even make the beds. Did I make... I didn't make any of the beds this morning. <gasps> That's when you know something is definitely wrong. I went straight from home to school line to... What's going on here? To school line, to Staples, to Burger King. I was going to go get the car. That's another thing that I have to do. Oh my God. I want to wash the car, the van. I don't want it to look like a complete crusty mess going down there. And it's not bad. I just want to vacuum the inside. So... There's stuff in the back um, that I need to take out and put in my on the side of my house in the backyard. I need to do that when she gets here before we start loading stuff in, obviously. So that's number one thing when she comes. Take all that stuff out. Get stuff loaded as strategically and quickly as possible without breaking our backs. 
if we can't fit everything, um, we're going to take a second. The, the guys are coming down the next day with, I just lost my train of thought. They're coming down the next day with another vehicle. It is what it is. We have to make it work. So, um, did I say this already? My dad's picking up the tables from Home Depot. So if I'm talking and rambling a lot, it's kind of like for me to look back and say, it, and just rewatch this before like we leave so that I'm like, Oh my God. Yeah. I, there, that, I didn't write that down. I need to do that. So he's got the tables. We're good to go like triple cross that off. He is going to pick them up and I don't even have to look at them until I get there. All right. I'm here doing those QR stickers from my girl. I'm sorry if you see my Bantu knots, my little, as my sister calls them. Are you wearing Bantus? No, I'm not. This is a horrible angle. Let me show you because I'm silly like that. Here they are. She's like, I thought you were wearing, I thought you were wearing Bantus. Like what kind of, more like, what is that? Oh, it's like the, the, like a halo. I don't know. I'm so over it. I, I'm losing my brain. So we're doing these stickers and I've got the sticker paper in the back. We are going to change the size of it. And I just want to take you along the ride. So you know me, my old screen share, rigmarole. Let me turn it around. By the way, this vendor packing list that she found is so detailed. And I, she's just so great at getting resources. So here we go. The old screen share, right? So that's enough of the screen, right? I mean, how much of my screen do you want to see? So we're going to shrink these down. They are currently, this is all that fits on one sheet, which is three by four, 12. So we're going to make them smaller. So hopefully we're not making them smaller because we want to um, fit more on the sheet. We're making them smaller because she's putting them on the back of these, just like I did for these stickers, right? So I have to measure those stickers. So I'm going to do that right now. I believe they're an inch and a half. Let me check. Uh, they are totally one and a half inches. Bop, bop. I know my sizes and I love my stickers. So one and a half. So we're taking this little circle here to one and a half. <laughs> irritating one two three four five we've got 20 on each sheet that is great so I'm gonna just cancel that and go back and take out one of these rows and that's it okay we're gonna click make it it's gonna do its own thing here um, we're not mirroring we are doing sticker paper so we're gonna continue and I am gonna do I'm gonna send it to the printer I am gonna do if that's 20 why does it come out looking like that? I don't like when it does that in the preview because I feel like it's going to turn out like tacky. In there we go. That looks good. Um, 20. She's going to want like maybe 100. Maybe five, five and four. Yeah, let's do five sheets. And I think I put more than five back here. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. So you know what? We're just going to put the five back there. And when I do mine, I'm going to do it. I might actually shrink mine down for the purpose of that. So the QRs that I have for the back of those keychains, those are okay. Those were for the backing cards. I can do them smaller for the other ones just to fit more on one sheet. So we're choosing the Canon series printer. We're not doing add bleed. We're doing five copies. And I believe, wait, she did want to put stuff on other things, didn't she? Should we do more? Maybe we should see how these turn out first. Let's do these first. I'm gonna move the stuff that I've had on the Cricut table here. You guys don't need to see me clearing that off. Keychains and whatnot. 
We're getting things done, people. Getting things done. Do you hear the printer? That printer's going. We're gonna um, change this setting to the one that I was working on before, which I think the best one actually wound up being, was it sticker paper? The one that would not cut good is the washi tape. We're not using washi tape again. So let me see, we're gonna browse materials. And I think it was sticky note the last time that I did this. So we're gonna just type stick and see what comes up. You have printable sticker paper, white, clear, card clear I don't I think the clear and what these are like high quality ones mine's not high quality and thick so it's not gonna work so I'm gonna choose sticky note and I'm gonna choose less pressure on sticky note so can I save this no oh yeah maybe I can okay done we're going to do less pressure so that hopefully it doesn't cut straight through and <clears throat> we're gonna get working on these listings as soon as this stuff starts cutting and I know that it's good, I'm gonna start working on the listings because they need to get done. And I need to take some pictures of my items um, afterwards so that I can include them in there. What are these? These are, oh, I do have more stickers, okay. All right, just moving things off my table so that you guys don't have to see it. I'm over here, hey! So we've got this sticker paper here, extra paper. These are so freaking cute. Ah, I'm fanning. Where's, oh, of course, where's my phone? <laughs> You're on it right now. I love it. Can I do that with my old school Android? I don't think I can. What is this? <clears throat> Verification code. Use the green light card. What is happening? It just sent me a verification code. What is happening? So I told you I got my son the verific uh, the green light, and it's sending me a verification code. Why? These are the kind of things that I just can't I can't be dealing with when I'm trying to do this. That's why I don't even like touching the phone in the daytime. So this is a very old Android, and I'm pretty sure that it doesn't account for QRs. It's like, beep, bop, boop, I don't know what you're doing. No. Desiree would be laughing at me right now, because it just doesn't. Xfinity, I need you to stop giving away phones. This phone was free, I'm not complaining. So we've got these, we are gonna put these on a mat, and we're gonna cut them. <clears throat> excuse me I keep doing that but I really wish Cricut if they can cut if they can um, take the line this close to this side why can't they take it this close to this side and why can't they take it close to this border use the edges why are you doing it in I, do they have a contract with like the paper companies I think because why would they do that why else would they would they cheat me out of my my money all right, so we're once again trying this out and see what works. Seeing what works. I'm going to do my best to line it up perfect. And why? Because I don't have time to contact them to calibrate my machine. So we're going to get as close to pos as possible to the edge and hope that that kind of helps. So feeding it in. Let's hope that the sticky note on less pressure gives us what we need. If it does not, as long as it cuts through to the point where I don't have to recut it, I think we're okay. All right, I'm like literally right back because I, these cut so fast. So it did cut through, unfortunately, and I just have a bunch of, like I don't know what setting to use. I Should I try the washi one again on more pressure? I don't want her to have to like, do all these stickers by themselves some of them are coming off okay but some of them are sticking like and I don't say come off okay like she's still gonna have to um, separate them from the backing you know like it cut through it's too much for them so once again this did not work 
So sticky note on less pressure, on more pressure, I don't even know what it would do. So sticky note out of the question, we're taking that off of our favorites because we can't use it for this. So let's browse the materials again for something else. I already have this on the mat, but I wanted to make it better. Just make it better. We figure things out, all right? I am so new at this. I know nothing about the types of sticker papers, like what's better, what's the pressure. I don't know, because I'm not a sticker shop, so I don't know. I'm going to learn though, I'm gonna find out, and I'm gonna probably join a friggin' sticker club and find out what's going on. And I will hope that people will share the information, because why not? And I've been following this one girl who's had a sticker shop forever. But I don't know if she's used, like, I could probably reach out, and I don't know her. I don't know her. I was on one of her, like, live stream, um, some things. She had a live, a live stream going. Um, I don't know her. She doesn't know me either. But I know of her, and she does not know of me. So if I reached out, would she give me some kind of information? Would she share her knowledge? I would hope so. Say, hey, have you ever used this cheap sticker paper from Amazon? Oh, yeah, I have. Oh, okay, can you tell me what exactly which pressure did you use? Because I don't understand. Can we be best friends? <laughs> I'm gonna cover my own little dance party with these with these stickers because oh see the last one print perfect why why does it print perfect um not print perfect why is it perfect on some of these and others it's not you know what we're working with it I was recording because I thought I figured it out now this whole video is trash I forgot one more thing it's not one it's like a few I need to make the um the listing for the boat decals as well as the what is that the boat decals the plane tail decals and possibly revise the truck decals the thing with truck is different from boat so I maybe not I might just keep the boat one uh the truck one um how it is and make the boat one very simple and the plain one very simple also because it's just a way for customers to check out now it shouldn't on a boat you should have like they're like block font it, it's not this is for the registration number I'm not talking about like boat names or anything like that that's totally different so I want to at least have the boat numbers and the or the I guess it would be a watercraft numbers because why because you need those like you don't need to have a boat name it goes by the registration number so Anyway, I just wanted to pop on and say that because I was like sitting here like thinking, thinking, thinking. And I was like, oh no, I forgot about that. So definitely that. The decals. And um, I think that was it. Decals. Yeah, because that's the majority. Harris Business is service based, but that's, they. you know, we offer the decals as well. So I want to post that on my Etsy shop. So that's that and we'll see you in the morning.